Hello friends, this video on some natural phenomena part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson. So I hope you are clear with lightning and earthquakes by now. So let us quickly look at some of the questions. Question number one. Which of the following cannot be charged easily by friction? So friction is what? When I say charged by charging by friction, it is nothing by rubbing. So rubbing is also rubbing also is friction. So a plastic scale, a copper rod, an inflated balloon, a woolen cloth. So if you see here, plastic is a poor conductor. So yes, an insulator can be charged by rubbing. Copper rod. Copper is a good conductor. So good conductors they cannot be charged because even if you rub them they will just provide a path to the charges and the charges will flow through them so copper rod cannot be charged balloon and wool again they are poor conductors and therefore they can be charged question number two when a glass rod is rubbed with a piece of silk cloth the rod and the cloth both acquire positive charge both becomes positively charged while cloth has a negative charge and the cloth both acquire negative charge, becomes negatively charged while the cloth has a positive charge. Now this we have already discussed right, so when we rub a glass rod with a piece of silk cloth, what happens transfer of charge takes place and as a result of which the glass rod acquires positive charge so the, and the silk cloth acquires a negative charge. So this is the right option because electrons tend to flow from the glass rod to the silk cloth. Question number three. Write true and false against each of the following statements. Like charges attract each other. This is false because they repel. A charged glass rod attract a charged plastic straw. Yes, this is true. Lightning conductor cannot protect a building from lightning. This is absolutely false because this is the purpose of lightning conductor. They are present on top of buildings so that they can actually allow all the extra charges to pass through them. And that's how they can protect the building from the striking of a lightning. Earthquakes can be predicted in advance. No, that is why we are not able to provide a foolproof protection against earthquakes. Question number four. Sometimes a crackling sound is heard while taking off sweater during winters. Explain. Now, what are sweaters made up of? So, sweaters are made up of wool, and wool is a poor conductor of electricity. So basically you can consider wool as an insulator. Now what happens during winters? Our skin is very dry, our body is very dry. So basically when we are wearing the sweater, the sweater is or the wool is in contact with our body. So basically there is friction, there is rubbing between the wool and our body which is dry. So due to this rubbing, the wool gets charged and the wool being electrically charged, when we take it off, so there is some kind of force which is experienced between the wool and our body and due to this we, we hear this crackling sound so wool gets charged due to rubbing with our body so these static due to the presence of these static charges on wool we hear this crackling sound question number five explain why a charged body loses its charge if we touch it with our hand okay so this is nothing but the concept of earthing. Now when we touch it, human body is a good conductor. So we provide a path for the charge to go to the ground. So basically the charge will flow through our body. There will be a flow of current or flow of charge through our body and it will go to ground. This is the concept of earthing. So all the excess charge is flowing through our body and going to the ground. Therefore the charged body is losing its extra charge and this is known as discharge of the body. So when we touch it with our hand, the charge gets grounded. Question number six. Name the scale on which the destructive energy of an earthquake is measured. 
So what is that scale? Richer scale. Just now we were talking about that, right? So on, on the richer scale, this is the magnitude on the x-axis and on the y-axis, we have the amplitude of the seismic waves which are caused by the earthquake. Now as the magnitude increases, the destructive energy of the earthquake also increases. Now an earthquake measures 3 on this scale. Would it be recorded by a seismograph? Yes, even the very minor earthquakes are also recorded by a seismograph because within seismograph there are devices which can actually amplify the seismic waves and that so that even minor uh, tremors can be recorded. Is it likely to cause much damage? Well, any uh, earthquake which is less than 3 on a richer scale is not going to cause any damage as such. In fact, sometimes it might not even felt by human beings. So anything less than 3 is going to be really minor. Question number 7. Suggest 3 measures to protect ourselves from lightning. So let us look at some of the measures like we should avoid open places because they are more prone to get attacked by lightning. Stay inside a building or a vehicle with closed windows because they have proper covering. For example, most of the buildings have lightning conductor which protect the building from lightning. Avoid shelter under tall trees because tall trees being tall, they, they have the positive charges accumulated on their top. As a result, they, they tend to have the electric discharged with the negatively charged bottom of the cloud and that is how they can be more dangerous. Avoid contact with water because water is a good conductor of uh, electricity and therefore the chances of electric shock increases. So these are some of the things that can be taken care to protect from lightning. Question number 8. Explain why a charged balloon is repelled by another charged balloon whereas an uncharged balloon is attracted by another charged balloon. Now we have already discussed that like charges that is if there are two positively charged objects, they will repel each other or if there are two negatively charged objects, they will also repel each other. Whereas if the charges are unlike, like positive and negative charges will attract each other. In fact, positive charge and uncharged body will also attract each other. Negative charge and uncharged body will also attract each other. So the same thing happens here. So when you charge a balloon by rubbing it on your hair, for example, and take it near another balloon which has also been charged in a similar way. So in this case, both the balloons are negatively charged. Now since both of them are like charges, so they repel, they go away from each other. But if you take a charged balloon and you take another uncharged balloon then they tend to attract each other that's because in this case the green balloon is negatively charged now negative charge will attract positive charge so the negative charges inside this balloon will move to this side and the positive charges will move towards this side so there will be attraction so that is why uh, a, a charged balloon repels another charged balloon but it attracts an uncharged balloon Question number 9. Describe with the help of a diagram an instrument which can be used to detect a charged body. So electroscope is the device which can be used to uh, determine whether an object is charged or not. So it is a very simple device where we have two metal leaves which is connected to a metal rod which in turn is connected to a disc. So whenever we strike it with an object, let us say if this object has a positive charge, so the same positive charge will be conducted to the leaves. Now these leaves being metallic, when they carry the same charge, they repel each other. So when the leaves move away from each other, so when the leaves move away from each other, that means the object is a charged body. If the leaves come closer to each other, so that means leaves away. So this is gold leaf electroscope because the leaves are made up of gold. So if the leaves move away from each other, that means the object is charged. And if the leaves come closer to each other, that means the object is uncharged. And if the object carries a positive charge, positive charge will be conducted to the leaves also. And vice versa. Question number 10. List three states in India where earthquakes are more likely to strike. Now, as we have discussed before, so if you look at the map of India, so this is how it is. 
So you see mostly the northern parts and the northeast states are impacted by the plate boundary. So plate boundaries are more prone to earthquakes because basically the boundaries suffer the most whenever there is some collision between the plates. So here you see this plate boundary is between the Indian plate and the Eurasian plate. So some of the weak zones are Jammu and Kashmir, Northeast and Uttarakhand. Question number 11. The weather department has predicted that a thunderstorm is likely to occur on a certain day. Suppose you have to go out on that day. Would you carry an umbrella? Well, whenever there is an indication of thunderstorm, there are chances that lightning will take place. Now, carrying an umbrella will increase the risk because umbrellas generally contain metal parts and metals are very good conductors of electricity. So, whenever you are carrying something which has good conductors, so that will tend to uh, invite the current because the charges will flow through conductor and therefore your chances of getting an electric shock is more. So, umbrella will increase the risk of being struck by lightning. So, it is advisable not to carry an umbrella. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and I hope that this lesson on lightning and earthquakes would have helped you. Now this is the beauty of physics that you get to know about these kind of natural phenomena taking place around us. So you get to know their causes, how they happen, how, they, how we can protect ourselves against them. So uh, follow this lesson, understand the concepts well, see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.